Hey, my name is Lance, and my job at Galileo is to create some of the fun and innovative activities that you do at camp. In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just one challenge, I'm going to show you a bunch of fast, quick, active challenges that you can customize. The only thing that these challenges have in common is that you'll need to collaborate with a partner by communicating with them and troubleshooting together when things don't work at first. You don't need any special materials for these active challenges, so let's get started. Challenge number one is called Two-Headed Monster. Start by standing hip to hip with your partner and wrap one arm around each other. Then try to complete a simple task with your free hand, such as lifting up a large box. Once you've mastered an easy challenge, come up with your own custom ideas for ways to level up the difficulty, such as folding a blanket. Just remember to keep collaborating by communicating and troubleshooting when challenges arise. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's bring our hands together. Okay, I'll hold it. Uh -huh. Another idea for the two-headed monster challenge is to pour and drink a glass of water. Just make sure to agree on a plan before attempting this one. The second challenge is called Stand Back to Back. In this challenge, you and your partner sit on the floor back to back with your arms linked and try and stand up together. It can be pretty tricky, so make sure to communicate with each other and coordinate your actions. You ready? ready? One, two, two, three. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you can level up this challenge by trying to hold something like a balloon between your shoulders as you stand. Challenge number three is called Balloon Volleyball. First, set up a raised line made out of tape, string, or a broomstick. Players sit across from each other and try to bounce the balloon over the line into the air as many times in a row as they can. Once you've mastered that, try playing with two or more balloons, which can get tricky, so you might need to coordinate with your partner. Ready? I'll throw mine first and then you do yours, okay? Customize the game with your own rules to make it even more challenging. <laughs> Challenge number four is called Three-Legged Journey. Start by loosely tying a scarf around the ankles of you and your partner. Then talk to your partner and make a plan for how you're going to move together to take a journey through your house. And outer legs, mid, middle, up, middle, up. Okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Middle, up, middle, up. <laughs> Level up the difficulty of the three-legged journey by combining it with one of your favorite challenges from the two-headed monster activity. Challenge number five is called See Things My Way. Start by loosely blindfolding your partner and then set out a bunch of colored objects like Lego. The goal of this low-key movement activity is for one partner to give instructions and guidance so the other partner can sort all the objects by color. We're gonna put the green ones on your right and the blue ones on your left. Okay? Yes. And there's one more blue one next to the green pile. That one's blue, yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you can level up the difficulty by adding more colors or trying to complete the challenge in under a minute. Challenge number six is called Knee Pass. The goal of this challenge is to pass a soft object, like a balloon or a small pillow, back and forth as many times as you can with your partner using only your knees. Level up this challenge by seeing how many times you can pass it back and forth in under one minute. Challenge number seven is called Elbow Pass. It works just like knee pass, except you only use your elbows. Both of these challenges are trickier than they seem, so make sure to stop and share your ideas with your partner. Okay, this, this time I'm gonna hang on to it and you tell me when you feel like you've got a good grip on it, okay? Level up this challenge by working with your partner to move as many objects from one area to another in under a minute. <laughs> one! No matter which challenges you choose, remember to think like an innovator and be collaborative by communicating with your partner and troubleshooting any challenges that might come up. All right, those are all the active challenges for this video. 
If you try out some of these, we would love to see. So please share a photo or video with us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.